What's going on guys? Haven't done a sort of just a regular random weekend vlog for a while. So I think that's what we're going to do today. I'm off today, Thursday and off tomorrow, Friday. And of course the weekend. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Did a quick oil change on the Q50 this morning and I'm going to be tearing into the Jeep a little bit. My daughter's getting her braces off today. So it's a big day. Going to be a busy weekend. So why not just uh, document it? I don't know if you guys will be interested in all this stuff or not, but I guess we'll just see where this video takes us. So let's go. On the GoPro. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. It's like <laughs> you're so fun. Now get your ass to school. Can Bye. You, go you got the valve open? I think so. Let's, let's fire it up. Maybe I don't know. Let's fire it up. Oh. Cold start. Cold start. <laughs> Cold start. <laughs> Of course, the days that I take off, it's got to be disgusting and raining and crappy, but I can do some cleanup in the garage. We got a new Harbor Freight that opened up in town, so I'm going to head over to Harbor Freight. I actually need some shop towels and rags and stuff, So, uh, but I did get this little Amazon purchase. Uh, didn't get the expensive one. I just got this cheap Wen one, um, but it's one of these um, mini belt sanders, 18-inch mini belt sander. Uh, I need this for work on the Jeep. I'm going to be doing some repairs, actually uh, replacing the uh, passenger side floor panel. Uh, and I just need some sanding underneath, but I'm not going to take the running board off. So there's just kind of an edge in there that I want to be able to get to and get rid of some of the rust and just smooth it out. And I need this and it's like 40 bucks or $50 or something like that. So good enough for this little time that I'm going to need it. But I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to head to Harbor Freight. And uh, we'll see where the day, day takes us. It's freaking freezing in here. Out here. Jeep sounding good. <laughs> Smoke is all out here. Oh, good. Now, this is going to be the last repair. This last repair that I do on this thing before we list it for sale. If I get it done today, it might actually be listed for sale today. Like I told you in a recent video, I got plans. I got plans now. I'm, I'm eyeballing some stuff. We're gonna be making some moves, making some moves for the channel. But, sheesh, this blue looks nice. Let's do that little flat black hood vent set up. Yowch. I actually haven't driven this thing for about a week. Uh, I've been driving the Jeep a lot. It's pretty amazing how I, Q50 that's lowered two inches on coilovers uh, with a pretty aggressive exhaust system can feel smooth and comfortable and relaxed after driving a 20-year-old a Jeep Wrangler. It's pretty crazy. Don't get me all wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love driving that Wrangler. The five-speed's awesome. Uh, you know, it's kind of a raw experience. Uh, it's just you're just you, you just it's a real driving experience i'll say that driving a wrangler you feel like you're you feel like you're in the elements driving that thing and it's it's kind of a no nonsense no frills no fluff it's just a, a utilitarian vehicle it's a jeep wrangler and i love it but you get in a car like this after driving that wrangler for a week and it's like damn I, this thing is quiet comfortable smooth it's awesome we got the ultimate day off out of the office lunch today celsius gave kiwi whatever the hell buffalo chicken wrap from sphinx don't tell my wife okay, guys something i was not expecting to arrive yet is actually here so this actually worked out perfect timing is everything okay nothing in the mailbox we'll let the wife get that Let's check this out. This is gonna be pretty dope. I'm excited. Not sure how it's gonna turn out, but let's take a look. All right. This is something I just tried out, experimental. But we will see if anyone is interested in this. Let's see how the hell I open this thing. Poster of the queue, looking pretty sick. Uh, you can actually even see the blue calipers. I don't know if you guys saw the t-shirt that I just dropped recently. It's sort of comic book inspired. 
that's what this is. And I printed a big poster to see how it would turn out. And it actually turned out pretty sick. Again, sort of a, a comic book type image. Um, it looks pretty cool. We got the little you know, Speed Culture Studios across the top. P50 is looking good on it. I wanted to see how it would turn out to see if it's something anybody would be interested in. Um, if I print a bunch of them, I can get them at a pretty good price. I just have to figure out how I would ship them to people without it costing a damn fortune. But let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in, in this poster at all. I think it's dope. Let me know. If nothing else, it'll go up in the garage. So I see somebody has actually tried to patch this floor before. You can't tell from the underside, so it must have just gotten rusty, and then it looks like they maybe threw in a little bit of sheet metal and then put some glue and shit up here. The driver's side had... Uh, where the drain hole was the drain hole basically rusted and just expanded a little bit um, so i just went ahead and cut that out and replaced that i'll show you that guys that too a little bit but this side looks like hell there's no holes but man it looks bad so trying to sell this thing you know somebody pulls the carpet up and looks at this it's not gonna look very good so i'm gonna cut this crap out of here and i have my little floor panel right there so we'll see how much of it i need to use or if i just use the whole thing uh, actually what I ran into on the other side was that the floor panel that I purchased wasn't even for this Jeep. So I have a feeling that this one is not for the TJ either. Uh, so I had to cut that one way down. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to cut this one up too. But it's really not that big of a deal because it looks like there's some decent metal in here still. But we'll get rid of all this crap here and see, get down to some bare metal. Um, the panels, the patches actually come up to here, thankfully, so. Yeah, it looks like hell. That's exactly what it was. It's a flimsy ass little piece of sheet metal. I think they even just glued it down. Wow. So just a little update. We got a big chunk of this cut out um, then this area there's spot welds along this little rail here and it's sort of a two layered piece so I'm gonna cut this out I uh, will grind that smooth uh, I'll do some replacement welds there in the floor but so you can see the frame rail actually looks pretty clean pretty decent solid a lot of this although it's rusty uh, it's pretty solid in some in most spots so I'm gonna grind through all this stuff get rid of the rust see what's usable and what's not and we'll trim back the bad stuff if we need to uh, a lot of this too in this little area is good you can still see the blue paint underneath the glue uh, so that should be solid as well up there solid so again this may end up just being a patch we're going to cut all this cancer out uh, we'll neutralize anything we can't get to and uh, we'll start trimming the patch i did check the panel and it doesn't fit so i don't know if this is for a different wrangler uh, different generation Wrangler or if it's for a uh, Jeep XJ or something, but they're way too big. So uh, Is what it is. It's way too late to return them now. I should have test fit them Before but I wasn't sure how when I was gonna actually get to this project. So here we are dealing with it now and We're gonna have to do some customization, but hey, you know what? That's kind of it's just sort of what we do Out of all the days to run out of freaking gas For the welder but I got the panel in uh, shaped up and I'm just gonna rivet it in place. I got a few rivets in already. We'll go to town and then we'll seam seal the shit out of it. <laughs> but I think that's gonna be good enough, honestly. I wanted to get a bunch of welds in, but 
Damn it. It is a freaking disaster area in here, but it's the next day, it's Friday, and I gotta go get some more paint. I, got, I did get the floorboard replaced, relatively simple. Actually, the, the hardest part was forming it. It's not as flat and even as the uh, driver's side, but look at the freaking, I guess winter's here, boys first frost of the year actually ice Ugh, sucks damn it went into lowe's for 11 dollar paint and ended up spending 55 60 bucks god damn it well, i got this all done it's a little gobbed up with some seam sealer you know toward the front but it's no big deal it's nice and solid now so good to go floor's been replaced both passenger and driver side i think we're good to go we're golden. This may be going up for sale this afternoon. <laughs> Added a little sound deadener for good measure. Uh, that'll help uh, underside of the rug tell it some rust residue. So I actually sprayed this with neutralizer. So uh, that should be good to go. I need to FaceTime my friend. We're continuing the weekend vlog. What do you need to do? FaceTime my friend. Who's the friend? Ashlyn. Okay. <laughs> well, we just got done making a pet peeves video. We got done making a um, what not to do driving a manual transmission vehicle. We've got a lot of good stuff going on this weekend. And now we are, I'm going to go check on your mom. What about me? <laughs> you're going to FaceTime your friend. I don't know. I, I don't know what you're doing. You? We're, we got the Christmas decorations down, everybody. you to my other very expensive hobby and of course that is keeping our vehicles fueled up oh man i still didn't get a full tank and spend 50 dollars, so that's annoying uh, but seriously i do have other hobbies and passions obviously and I, this channel is called speed culture right so i'm not just i'm not just into cars and motorcycles and you know the automobile itself i'm into the entire culture and that means uh, automotive or automobile inspired or racing inspired apparel and things of that nature and uh, i've sort of alluded to this in a prior video some time ago um, but i haven't really talked about it and uh, i truly am getting into uh, another hobby that's related to the to this particular culture and i'll talk about it in, a, in an upcoming video because i did get a a really generous gift for my wife for my birthday a month or two ago. I think it's relevant and I may not really dedicate a lot of videos to it in the channel and we'll see how it goes, but you know, I just thought it'd be something that I would, would share with you guys. It's not something I've pursued because it is a very, uh, or has potential to become a very, very expensive hobby. Uh, so it's not something I've really dabbled in all that much other than just, you know, doing research and reading and looking and kind of keeping up with trends and things like that. So, uh, but I think now, uh, spurred by this gift, it may be something I pursue a little bit further. And of course I'll just share it with you guys, but just something to keep on your guys' radar, something coming up. So stick around for that. Oh man. This is like a damn four day vlog for crying out loud. Just checking the lights, everything. Looks good. Good that emblem. Still looking sharp. What an idol. What an idol. Okay, sorry, this video has been all over the place. It's been over the course of a few days, but I got the floors done in the Jeep, as you saw, and I actually did get it listed for sale, and there's been a bunch of people that are interested in it. I showed it to one person on Sunday who didn't have cash ready to go, uh, but he wants to see it again, get it up to uh, a friend's shop, I guess, across town, and, and have a look underneath it uh, later this week. So uh, there's a chance that it'll be sold. I got a couple other people that are interested in looking at it this weekend. Um, so it's actually been pretty tough to keep up with all the messages on Facebook Marketplace, but I'm ready to move on. So 
Uh, I'm tired of people trying to negotiate over the internet and then not actually showing up when they say they were going to show up. So uh, really the first person that shows up with cash is gonna take this thing because I'm ready to move on to the next project and it's a project I think you guys are going to be interested in. Um, I, gotta, I gotta find the car. I know what I wanna get, but I gotta find it now and there's some out there. So I think we'll get it done. It, it's ready to go and I'm ready to let it go. So uh, we're gonna enjoy it over the next couple of days until it gets sold finally, but uh, looking forward to moving on. Uh, I did want to show you guys one thing because that t-shirt I mentioned earlier on it actually came in uh, this week as well so take a look at this thing this thing really turned out awesome too I love this t-shirt I'm not a fan of the Heather Gray uh, I shouldn't have gotten Heather Gray but I got a bunch of colors available on the site go to uh, my YouTube store you'll find it I actually changed up one thing about the design uh, this looks cool on t-shirts that are of a different color uh, you can see the color of the t-shirt through the letters and then it gets the like the concrete background here um, but I don't like it on the gray and there's a couple of gray options and it might not look as cool so I changed this this actually says kapow now and like you guys can see it's sort of comic book inspired so you get a look at the texture the print turned out really good I love the you can see the blue calipers it's really sick uh, the splitter looks good. The front end looks badass. Uh, I, I love it. It turned out fantastic. The front continues with that comic book kind of comic book theme. So if you guys are interested in this, I've made them as cheap as I possibly can on the uh, YouTube store. So go check them out. It's a cool colors available. And guys, don't forget, I have Sweet Culture decals, and now I can actually make my own. So the color options are essentially endless so let me know if you guys are interested in these you get a pair of them the idea is to have a pair of them for either quarter glass windows or your front brake calipers so they come as a set of two for five bucks pretty cheap and they're really high quality uh, vinyl and they're not going to come off they've held up on my brake calipers for a long time now through all sorts of weather conditions got the speed culture keychains available as well if you guys are interested in those sorry to make this uh a sales video but I just want to let you know I got some things available for you guys so check out the description below uh, follow me check me out on Instagram send me a message on Instagram let me know if you're interested in any of these things again the t-shirts can be bought directly through the YouTube store so uh, click one of those t-shirts down down below you'll see this one probably on the screen so take a look check it out but uh, stick around guys I'll let you know as soon as this Jeep gets sold and uh, we'll bring you along for the next hunt for the next project vehicle so stick around appreciate the Canadian support up to this point more good things coming for the channel I'm pretty pumped I got some new things coming for the Q50 as well they may or may not be carbon fiber in nature so stick around for that as well thanks for watching again guys we'll see you in the next one